Hey everyone, uh, in today's video we're going to look at installing these magnetic uh, pedal shifter uh, clamp ring adapter for the uh, Logitech G27. Um, so this just simply goes around the steering wheel or the, the center column and then there's magnets that goes here um, and they basically give a more um, tactile feel to the paddle shifters on the Logitech G27. Uh, the same goes for the G29 um, and the G920 and even the G25. Um, so let's go. So this is the part that I found. I actually found this on a website called thingiverse.com. Uh, it was pretty easy to find. Just did a quick search for Logitech wheel mods and I downloaded the file and had a friend 3D print this for me and the quality of the part actually looks pretty good. So the part was actually designed to use 8mm by 3mm diameter magnets. So I went on eBay and found these neodymium magnets that were very strong and they shipped to me pretty quick and I have a pack of 50 so now I have extras. And so the last part I needed were these M3 by 20 millimeter cap screws. Uh, I got these at a local hardware store and so they're pretty easy to install. They simply go through the clearance hole in the top portion of the part and they thread into the bottom half of the part. So after installing the cap screws by hand, I went back with a allen key and started threading them into the bottom portion. And I found that after installing them onto my wheel, they provided enough clamping force where I didn't need a locking nut on the opposite end to keep the assembly together on the wheel while in use. So once I finished tightening down the cap screws into the bottom portion of the part, it was time to install the magnets. Now. I found that the holes where the magnets go were a little undersized due to the printing and so what I did was take a slightly oversized drill bit and just basically went ahead and kind of opened up the holes just enough so that the magnets would fit inside. The description on the website on Thingiverse actually calls to use a little bit of glue to hold the magnets in place. However, I found that once I opened up the holes just enough to allow the magnets to sit inside and by forcing the magnets in using a clamp as, I, as shown here, I found that the magnets held their place pretty good and they did not pop out of the holes even when installed and in use on the Logitech wheel. So I did the same process for the remaining magnets and once that was finished, it was time to install the assembly onto my Logitech G27 wheel. So here's what my paddle shifter sounded like before I went ahead and installed the mod. So installing the mod is actually pretty easy. It's just a matter of putting the two halves around the center column of the wheel and making sure that it's centered with the paddle shifters as much as possible. I also went ahead and added a little bit of tape over the magnets so that I can reduce the metal on metal noise whenever I'm shifting on the paddles. So you want to make sure you try and align it so that it's as center as much as possible with the center column as well as the magnets are centered along the paddle shifters themselves. And so from there it's just a matter of installing the cap screws from earlier, tightening them down around the main center column and adjusting it so that it's even on both sides. So once you tighten down the screws, go ahead and test out the magnets and the paddle shifters themselves and see how you like it. Um, if necessary, go ahead and readjust them so you get the proper throw for between the engagement of the magnets and the shifter hitting the button on the wheel itself. So 
So here I am in Assetto Corsa. I'm driving the Chevrolet Corvette C6R at Sebring and I'm just trying to get a feel of the paddle shifters and how they feel with the new magnetic mod. One thing I did like about this mod was that it provided a lot more feedback when shifting. Compared to when I didn't have the mod, the paddles themselves were actually pretty light. And so oftentimes I would often miss shift because there's no feedback allowing me to know that I downshifted too much or even upshifted too much. So with the new magnet and mods, it allowed me to be more precise with my shifts and allowed me to know that I'm in a certain gear and I didn't upshift or downshift more than I needed to. So is this mod really necessary to make you go faster? Well, it really depends on the driver. Uh, for me, I found that I made a lot of mistakes when it came to shifting and that often cost me a lot of time because I would have to downshift or upshift back into the correct gear either going into a corner or coming out of a corner but if you don't have a problem with shifting using paddle shifters uh, in any car that uses a paddle shifter gearbox um, this mod may not be necessary for you but if you're looking to improve the feedback and the overall feel of the paddle shifters as you're driving this is probably by far the cheapest and most effective mod that exists on the logitech wheels that will probably do just that and honestly it feels great and it helped me improve my shifting problems and my bad habits that i developed early on when i began racing Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you found this video very helpful, especially for the users who have a Logitech G25 or G29 or any of the Logitech wheels, this mod will work perfectly for any of them. And so if you're looking to do this yourself, I provided links down below to the Thingiverse website where I downloaded the file and had a friend print it out for me. Or if you have a 3D printer yourself, you can go ahead and print it out for yourself. I've also provided links to the materials that I purchased in order to complete the assembly on my wheel. And so if you want to do it yourself, you can go ahead, click on the links and get started. So thanks again for watching guys. Uh, press the like button down below to stay tuned for more videos. And uh, be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you later. Shoots!